The average person probably knows that the apostles Paul and Peter inevitably gave their lives for the cause of Christ. And many Christians might even know of other martyrs, such as Polycarp, Ignatius, or maybe even Justin. But were there any women who died for the sake of Christ? Well, let's talk about that. Be right back. Hey, thanks for sticking around. This is askabibleprof.com, where we give straightforward answers to your questions about the Bible and Christianity. If you find this video blog helpful, then consider hitting like and maybe subscribing, and we can introduce you to other helpful videos. In this video, we'll be discussing some of the great women of faith of the early church who paid the ultimate sacrifice for their devotion to Christ and his gospel. Our guest for this interview is Dr. Michael A.G. Haken. Dr. Haken and his wife have two adult children, both of whom are married. Dr. Haken has written dozens of books, and you can find links to these books in the description below. He has also contributed to well over 100 different chapters, journals, and magazines. He is without a doubt a recognized scholar in the field of New Testament studies and the history of the early church. He has taught at several universities, colleges, and seminaries in Canada, the United States, as well as Ireland, and the United Kingdom. So without further ado, Dr. Haken. So are there any remarkable women as well in this period who died for the faith? Yes, there are. Um, in North Africa, one uh, in particular is remembered, Perpetua, and her servant, uh, Felicitas. And we have the acts of the martyr, uh, Perpetua. Uh, Perpetua was martyred around 202 in Carthage. You can actually still go to Carthage and see the, the arena in which she would have died and the, the prison cell in which she would have been held. She actually recounts for us what it was like in the prison cell. It's kind of a prison diary, which was then later edited and included in this larger martyrdom account. And it's probably one of the longest texts we have from the hand of any Roman woman in this period of time. She's upper class. She can read and write Greek and Latin, just very remarkable. And um, that example of her steadfastness under fire, as it were, uh, and her fidelity to Christ to the end um, is, was remembered. And Augustine, for example, preached a number of sermons on the date of her death. Uh, she's killed in the arena, initially thrown to wild beasts, which is vi uh, uh, illegal because a Roman citizen could not be killed except by the sword uh, or some sort of beheading. Um, and um, Roman, Roman laws regarding the execution of citizens are obviously breaking down around 200. Yeah, so she's, uh, Perpetua has already been wounded at this point by, by a bull in the arena. And she's actually killed by a gladiator. A uh, gladiator is brought into the arena to dispatch her. And she act, he's hesitant, it's interesting, he's very hesitant to kill her because it's not the sort of situation he would have ever been in. He normally would have faced another armed man and there would have been a combat that would have led to his killing another individual. And an unarmed woman who was a Roman matron um, of upper class standing was very unusual. And she actually, the text tells us, she actually had to guide his hand with a knife to her throat to slit her throat. Um, in Lyon, we have Blandina um, in um, 177 who is martyred and who the Roman officials actually crucify in the arena. And her physical form in the crucifixion uh, becomes an encouragement to believers because believers look at her and see in her not, she's not the hero or the heroine, but Christ in her becomes that which enables them to stand fast. So yes, we do have examples of women in this period who are remarkably, who are remarkable uh, Christian uh, uh, witnesses. So what would these women say to, to Christians today who are hesitant to share the gospel? Um, they'd rebuke us. Their very, their very deaths are rebuked to us. 